Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. This is actually the very first episode of my new YouTube series and I'm so excited because I have been wanting to do this for you guys for a very, very, very long time now. I get questions every single day on advice for starting a YouTube channel and how to grow and how you get paid and equipment and all that. And it's very difficult to answer that in just like a sentence because there's so much I want to say on this topic. So I decided to launch an entire YouTube series on it. I'm going to be posting a new video every single week. I don't know how many videos there will be in this series because I feel like YouTube is such an ongoing broad topic that we can keep this going for as long as the questions keep coming. But I do have a ton of questions already laid out and I plan the episodes out. I'm just so excited to finally get this series started. I started YouTube initially like I think it's gonna be almost four years ago but I will say I wasn't taking it seriously at first um, it was very complicated to me I didn't know what I was doing I would film a video and then I wouldn't film for like three four five months then I would film again then I would stop again so I would say like the first two years I wasn't really giving it my all and I would just film a video here or there so I don't I feel like personally I don't really count that time just because I wasn't consistent and I wasn't really posting but it wasn't until like the last two to three years that I really started focusing on YouTube and I made it a priority and I started taking it very seriously and I started posting every single week without fail like I cannot think of the last time where like I just didn't post a video in a week I post every single week no matter what and I post pretty frequently throughout the week as well so yeah I started YouTube really as an extension of my written blog i have a written blog which i actually don't really update anymore youtube has become my sole focus but i just started a youtube channel because a lot of a lot of my friends are telling me i should start one and i wanted to like maybe get into makeup tutorials and all that which i did initially but i feel like my channel has evolved so much it's become so much more personal i still do the beauty but i do also a lot of vlogging which i love and i think you guys really enjoy as well and that's the beautiful thing about youtube is like you can start doing one type of video and as you grow and as you continue filming and doing youtube you could find out that you love doing a completely different type of video and you're never going to figure out what you want to do with your channel until you actually just start working on it because like anything else in life you don't know you like something unless you do it so that is what my series is basically here for it's going to help you start your channel grow your channel and figure out your youtube voice all right so today is the very first episode of the new youtube series hashtag youtube life and i'm very excited for it i feel like this is the episode that's going to jump start and change your mindset about youtube and get you started if you haven't already started filming your videos Today we're going to talk about losing your fear of actually starting a channel and just going for it and starting your YouTube channel finally. I have four main tips that I want to share with you guys that I think will help you start your YouTube channel. The first tip I want to share with you guys is something that I tell everyone and I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but you just have to go for it. Get over yourself, get over your fear and just go for it and start your channel. Like there's never going to be a better day or opportunity for you to start. If you're looking for a sign on whether or not you should start your channel, this is it right here. Start your channel. But besides that, I do have three other little tips that I want to share with you guys that I think will warm you up to get that channel going. My next tip is to get on Instagram and get on Instagram live. I feel like Instagram live, even for me, it's a little scary. Like that first moment where you click to go live and you're waiting for people to log on and then people log on and people are, are like just there watching you and you know they're watching you live. You can't do anything. You can't edit yourself. You can't delete something. You can't go back in time. Like you're there live. It's, a, it's very intimidating, even for myself. So I think a great way to get started is to get used to being in front of the camera and use Instagram Live to your advantage. Even if you think no one's gonna watch, who cares? Just get on Instagram Live and maybe start doing your makeup. That way, if no one logs on and no one's asking questions, at least you're doing something. Um, and just take it from there. Like, And tell people, if you feel like no one's gonna log on, tell people ahead of time, like, hey guys, I'm gonna go on Instagram Live in two hours or tomorrow and i'm going to be doing my makeup log on so you can ask me questions and i can show you guys what i'm doing like just sell it and bring people in and get people excited but i think instagram live is a great way 
to warm up and get started in front of the camera and start talking to your audience. Next tip is to get on Snapchat. Snapchat is my favorite app ever. Snapchat is going to be where your main loyal audience will be. They will be there waiting for you for updates um, and to know when your next video is going to go up. But I feel like Snapchat is really a family to me and I love, love it so much. So I think you should also use that to your advantage. Use Snapchat as a test because Snapchat is a little less intimidating than Instagram Live, being that you can like film your little 10 second videos, but you can choose to put a filter on it, you can delete it and do it over again. So kind of use Snapchat in that sense to like start also getting ready to talk to an audience and you could even do your makeup on Snapchat. You can share new products you're loving. You can start getting people excited about your channel, but just start using Snapchat and Instagram as ways to warm up to the camera and to start getting used to talking to a camera because that is your YouTube life. YouTube life is sitting down, getting all done up from like the waist up and talking to a camera. But really, I'm talking to you guys. So eventually you will get comfortable and it'll just become second nature to you. And then my last tip for getting comfortable and finally starting your channel and finally starting to film those videos is to actually sit down and film a video that you have no intention of posting because I feel like that takes the pressure off when you're sitting down and you're like, okay, I'm gonna film this video. Oh my God, people are gonna be watching it. Like you get all worked up, you get nervous and you might mess up a little bit more. But if you sit down and you film a video and you know in your head, like no one's ever gonna see this. This is just a test. You are going to do so well, I promise you. You might get a little bit nervous still, but you're gonna do so much better when the pressure of, okay, no one's watching this and this is not gonna go on YouTube. And who knows, maybe when you watch the footage, you might be like, you know what? This is actually really good and I will post it. But for now, just film a video or two or three that you have no intention of posting just to get yourself warmed up because it might seem kind of easy to just like, yeah, turn on a camera and talk, but it's not that easy for everyone and you do get nervous even though no one's around. Like literally Max, my dog is here watching me and that's it. But it is a little bit nerve wracking when you start thinking about like, well, who is going to watch it? Are people that I know going to watch it? So these tips I think will really get you warmed up for the camera and get you excited and get you comfortable talking to an audience that you can't see quite yet. These are my main tips that I think will help you get started on your YouTube channel. Other than that, you just gotta go for it. And then besides this, all you gotta do is create your YouTube account for your channel. You gotta pick a name. I recommend picking your own name unless you don't maybe feel comfortable, like you, it's a privacy thing, then maybe just don't put your last name. But pick a name because YouTube is not gonna allow you to switch up your username all the time. I think you might have like one opportunity to change it, but to be honest, it's very difficult and I wish I would've just chosen my name for my channel when I first started. So pick a name that you feel comfortable with. Again, I recommend just using your name, but that's totally up to you. And then besides your name, create a YouTube banner. The banner is like that main photo that everyone sees as soon as they go to your channel. I really recommend that you have a banner made before you post your new video, well, your first video ever, because it is gonna leave an impression on people. And you can hire maybe like a graphic, um, a graphic artist to design one for you, or to be honest, you can just create one yourself and it doesn't have to be anything fancy, especially in the beginning. You could just have your name, your YouTube channel name and maybe a photo of yourself or not. I don't even have a photo. I literally just have my name and like beauty and lifestyle vlogger in the like little fine print. Um, and two websites that I recommend that you check out are one pick monkey and the second is canva.com. I'm gonna list them both below, but especially Canva I love because they have so many templates for everything, for Facebook, Instagram, for YouTube thumbnails, for YouTube banners. Like they have templates for everything that you could possibly think of and then you can just kind of work with the templates that they have or create your own and you can make it work. I'm telling you, you'll make it work. At the end of the day, you just have to go for the things that you want. It's the only way of really figuring out if you're gonna enjoy something and if it's for you and it's the only way that you're gonna start to get comfortable. You can't expect to like feel 100% comfortable before you even make your first video. So you're gonna learn as you go, you're gonna get comfortable as you go. And I'm telling you, if you really put time and effort and you work hard, you're gonna have a really amazing channel. 
that is going to be it for my first ever episode on hashtag YouTube life. I thank you guys so much for coming and checking out this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me comments on what you want to see on this series or anything in general. Just leave me some comments down below so I know what you're enjoying and what you want to hear more about. Make sure you tune in next week. I'm going to have episode number two. And episode number two is going to be all about figuring out what your YouTube channel should be about like what kind of videos you should be filming i'm gonna give you guys some ideas on really great first videos to film when you're starting out and these are videos that are really going to draw people in it's going to catch their attention and you're going to start to get some traffic immediately to your youtube channel again thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are excited about hashtag youtube life i know i am and i'm excited for you guys too so thank you again for joining me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Mwah. Look at me